Hey guys, uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, we've been going for about uh, 45 minutes or so, uh, which means we're about 4 kilometres up the world's most dangerous road. Alright, one hour in, one an hour in a bit, how much is it? One and a half, woo! Uh, stop, fuel up a little bit, just got some food, carry on up the hill. Still feeling pretty good, trying to keep uh, the pace not too slow so that we don't burn out. How are you feeling, B? Alright, good time. Catch you later.
Du var pigg, det ser ut bra. Kring bakom mig. Ja, bra. Det är det. Det är just det här. Det känns väldigt gott. Are you gonna carry on good or not? Have a crack at the cum. But in the meantime, here would be the nice, nasty cliff. Ooh. Well, what do you know? Made it uh, this halfway. Behind me is the uh, way we're going to go up to La Cumbre. And then this is the new road to the Coroco. And what do we have here but the owner finishing the world's most dangerous road. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. So just heading down into uh, down into Unglavi. Uh, nice to get a little break from peddling. It started to rain, which isn't uh, particularly useful. It cools you down a bit though, which is quite nice. Still a long way to go. Just uh, just show up 50 kilometers now. And uh, just uh, 4,000 meters. So, uh, still a while to go, but at least I'm still moving. I can still talk, I can still breathe. And going good. The others are all parked. Stopped in for, uh, for a feed of trout. Longer. But uh, yeah. I think just keep on trucking, sooner or later we'll get up there. However, somewhere up in that cloud there is where I need to be. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Put your hands up for the collision. Well, I have to say that was one of the dumbest things I've ever done in my life.